Welcome to the Potter Intelligent Nitrogen Generator installation video for models INS500 and INS1000. For more information and detailed installation instructions, visit potternitrogen.com. Find an installation location that is dry, clean, and well ventilated. Allow access to the front of the unit for service. The unit should be conveniently located near the fire sprinkler system connections and near a drain. Ensure a dedicated electrical circuit with an electrical disconnect switch has been supplied for power. Anchor the unit to a level surface using the 4 9 16th inch diameter mounting holes on the skid. To plumb the nitrogen generator to the sprinkler system, first connect the supplied 12 inch flexible hose to the nitrogen tank outlet valve. From the half inch male NPT threaded flexible hose, Plumb the half inch MPT piping to the sprinkler system air maintenance device using standard accepted installation practices. Locate the air tank blowdown solenoid. Pipe the provided 10 feet of 3 8 inch drain tubing from the air tank blowdown to a floor drain in the sprinkler room. Do not pipe the drain tubing upward and ensure drain tubing is restrained. Each riser requires a minimum of one nitrogen purge valve to be installed prior to implementing the nitrogen purging procedure. For installation instructions, refer to the model NGPSPV bulletin or the model INSPV manual supplied with each purge valve. Note: Purge valves must be installed as shown to allow oxygen to escape. Water trapped in piping can also cause purge valves to remain closed. To wire power to the INS500 or INS1000, open the front panel at the top of the nitrogen cabinet to access the wiring terminal blocks. Use a half inch or three quarter inch knockouts on the back of the cabinet for electrical conduit. For wiring instructions, refer to the wiring diagram located on the cabinet door or in the manual. All wiring should be performed by a licensed electrician and conform to the NEC and all applicable local standards. For optional internet connectivity, wire a Cat5 Ethernet cable using a half inch knockout on the back of the cabinet to the Ethernet port on the Intelligent Controller on the inside of the nitrogen cabinet. If an IntelliPurge nitrogen purge valve is being used, wire three wire cables to the appropriate P Link terminal blocks next to the controller. Using the same half inch knockout on the back of the cabinet, a Form C relay is available to wire the nitrogen generator to a building management system or fire panel. Before beginning, make sure the water supply to the sprinkler system is turned off. Make sure all piping connections have been made in accordance with the installation instructions. Ensure the air compressor power switch located on the right side of the cabinet is in the off position. Close the air maintenance device. If multiple air maintenance devices are used, ensure all valves are in closed position. Close the nitrogen tank outlet valve, marked V03, on the nitrogen tank. Turn power on to the nitrogen generator using the contractor installed electrical disconnect switch. The intelligent display will turn on, indicating power with a green LED labeled power. Note, there will be a short delay as the intelligent display turns on and the system boots up. The amber LED labeled bypass will activate if the pressure is less than 55 psi in the nitrogen tank. Turn power on to the air compressor using the switch labeled air compressor power on the right side of the cabinet. The air compressor will begin running and the pressure in the air tank and nitrogen tank will begin to rise. Start recording the time it takes until the compressor turns off. If the nitrogen generator is isolated from the sprinkler system, the air compressor of the INS500 should take no longer than 8 minutes, or the air compressor of the INS1000 should take no longer than 6 minutes to pressurize both tanks and turn off. When the nitrogen tank pressure reaches approximately 80 psi, the valves inside the cabinet will close. When the air tank pressure reaches approximately 105 psi, the air compressor will turn off. When the two tanks are pressurized, the amber LED labeled bypass on the intelligent display will turn off and mode on the intelligent display will change to N2 mode. This indicates that the unit is now in nitrogen generating mode. 
Check all piping connections for leaks as pre-plumb fittings may have loosened during shipment. Any pressure drop on the tanks during this time could indicate a leak. To ensure the nitrogen generator is operating correctly and that the correct nitrogen purity is being produced, a functional test must be performed. On the inside of the nitrogen cabinet, locate the blue nitrogen bleed valve marked V04. Slightly open the blue nitrogen bleed valve and begin relieving the pressure from the nitrogen tank. At approximately 60 psi, you will see the red instrument air solenoid lights turn on. Quickly close the blue nitrogen bleed valve. Note, if the pressure in the nitrogen tank drops below 55 psi, the intelligent nitrogen generator will return to bypass mode. Close the valve and wait for the nitrogen generator to refill the tanks and the unit to return to nitrogen generating mode before trying again. Immediately begin timing to see how long it takes to reach approximately 80 psi in the nitrogen tank while the nitrogen generator is in nitrogen generating mode. If the nitrogen generator is isolated from the sprinkler system, the INS 500 should take no longer than 8 minutes or the INS 1000 should take no longer than 4 minutes to pressurize the nitrogen tank to 80 psi. During this time, connect the portable nitrogen analyzer to the nitrogen sample port, marked SP, to measure the purity of the exiting gas. The analyzer should read 98% or greater. This might take a few minutes. When the nitrogen generator reaches approximately 80 psi in the nitrogen tank, the red instrument air solenoid lights will turn off. The air compressor will continue to run until the air tank pressure reaches approximately 105 psi. Now we must fill the sprinkler system to supervisory pressure and begin the purge process. To fill the sprinkler system, open the nitrogen tank outlet valve marked V03 on the nitrogen tank and open the bypass valve on the air maintenance device. The pressure in the nitrogen tank and the air tank will decrease rapidly, causing the nitrogen generator to switch to bypass mode. The amber LED labeled bypass will turn on and the mode on the intelligent display will turn to bypass mode. This indicates that the nitrogen generator is filling the system with air to meet the NFPA required 30 minute fill time. The air compressor will also turn on. Allow the fire sprinkler system to reach the desired pressure. This could take 30 minutes or less. Note. Fill one system at a time to prevent overheating of the air compressor. As soon as the sprinkler system supervisory pressure is reached, put the sprinkler system back into service by placing the air maintenance device in the maintenance position. Refer to the air maintenance device manual for proper operation. When the sprinkler systems are completely filled, the nitrogen generator will repressurize the air tank and nitrogen tank to capacity. The air compressor will turn off and the unit will automatically return to nitrogen generating mode. The amber LED labeled bypass should be off and the mode in the intelligent display will display N2 mode. Reset the leak rate by pressing the maintenance button on the intelligent display keypad. Enter 0000 for passcode. Press number 2 on the keypad to select excess N2 demand. Press enter on the keypad to clear maintenance alert and reset leak rate, labeled LR. You will receive confirmation that the alert has been cleared. Press escape to return to the main screen. If an INSPV is connected to the nitrogen generator, press the purge button on the intelligent display keypad. Enter 0000. Press start purge. Select All Devices, and finally press Enter. The system is now purging. This completes the installation for Potter's INS 500 and INS 1000 nitrogen generator. For more information, please visit potternitrogen.com.